Aloha. 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 Are you Ms. McQuad? Quad. One syllable. McQuad. Well, two syllables, but the second part is one syllable. Wad. McQuad. Is it Gaelic? I don't know. I really don't know. I was just. Listen, I, I'm in desperate need of a massage. Is that possible? Is there anything available? I mean, I just, I, I'd take anything right now because I have a herniated disc and I just... Belinda behind you. Belinda behind me. Belinda, who is behind you, is our spa manager. Oh. Belinda, oh. Uh, Ms. McAwad is in need of treatment. Would you have any openings for her this afternoon? Um, unfortunately, we are all booked. Oh, no. I just... Really? Are you sure? I would really appreciate it. I'm not picky. I, you know, if I don't have to have deep tissue or anything. I'd take anything at this point. Anything, anything but Reiki, of course. Um, oh, where are the bags? Right there, right behind you. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Wait, there's just, um, there was one, there's one small bag. It's a small white plastic bag. That's the only one that's, I don't see it here. Okay, a um, plastic so bag. A white plastic, yeah, it's plastic. very important. Yeah. Do you think they could have left it on the, on the wheelie? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it has a, oh, my God. I can call the bellman? Yeah, uh, uh, it, no, yeah, it has my mother's ashes in it. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Do you think it's lost? Oh, no, no, no. I, I took two boats. We... If maybe you could call the boats, the boat people, and then there's a, there was a little white little a little golf cart thing. I don't think it had a trunk in it, but maybe it was left on there. But I just, uh, just the boat I... depart. Oh, but, yeah, oh my god! Oh my god! Is this it? Thank you, thank you. I just, that would have been really bad. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't lose these. No. Mahalo. Oh, hey! Hi. Do you remember me? Yes. <laughs> Any luck squeezing me in today? All of our masseuses are fully booked. Sorry. Oh. But I actually have some free time right now, myself. Oh. oh. Here's what I'm thinking, Tanya. We could do a consultation. That way I can get a better sense of what's going on with you and your body. And I could give you a cranial sacral, which I always recommend. So no massage? I think you'll find this really cathartic. Will I be fully naked? Oh, no. We'll, we'll put you in a bathrobe so you're comfortable and we can do a little movement, okay? Okay. Okay. Right this way. Thank you. What I'm hearing is you're having a lot of fatigue. Yeah. I feel like taking a nap right now. Why do you think you're so tired? Well, I think it's because I'm so close to the floor. I'm my own phallic mother. I'm my own phallic mother. I'm my own vaginal father. My own vaginal father? I fill my own cup. I fill my own cup. My failing body is immaterial. The child in me is alive and fresh as the day I was born. It's immaterial because the child in me is as fresh as the day it was born. I will connect with that child at all times and feed and nurture her. I will connect with that child at all times and feed and nurture her. by the rap and you also yes 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 you can absolutely do a facial the exfoliating facial is pretty intensive it's about an hour and a half so we can um oh no absolutely we can take the whole block of time if you want you're so good at this I dreamt that I was on the top of this beautiful mountain range in Asia. Oh, that's cool. And I had a cyanide pill. And I just, listen, 
You, you are so talented. Thank you. You know, most people, they really don't know what they're doing. You know, they, they lie you down and, and then you just get lubricated. But you, you really know where you're going. <laughs> Do you think you could have dinner with me at the hotel tonight? Come on, because I woke up this morning and I swear to God, I felt better today than I've ever felt in my life. And I just really need to know how you did that. The hotel doesn't really like it when the staff interacts with the guests in that way. What do you mean? You can't have dinner? It would be unusual. Like some kind of caste system? Tanya, thank you so much for the invitation. I really appreciate it. It's absurd. We can have dinner. Who do I talk to? You know what? I'll talk to Armand, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I get off at 7. Yeah, that's good. I mean, like a couple minutes after 7 at the, at the restaurant. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, both of you are so pretty. I've never seen you this close, wow. Look at your skin, oh my gosh. You have the most beautiful skin I've ever seen. Really, like the dewy skin that athletes have, like after a race, like just, but it's natural. Anyway, don't mind me, because I'm here, I'm, I'm just scouting right now. I have a bunch of ashes that I need to throw in the ocean. I'm just looking for the perfect spot. My mother passed away a couple of weeks ago. She was in bad shape for a very long time, and uh, she loved the ocean. That's why I brought her with me. It's a heavy lot. You know, I just don't think that I'm gonna be able to toss the ashes right there on the shoreline like that. What if she just splashes back onto the beach? It would be like littering. I think I wanna charter a boat and just bring her out into like the deepest part of the ocean. Way, way out into the deep. And sprinkle her very thoroughly. What do you think? We got we gotta go. Yeah. We have to pee really, really bad. I know I have to pee, but I'm not, I I'm holding it. Yeah. I mean I know a lot of rich white fucked up people. Beautiful family. Oh. Oh, thank you. I know, yes, I, I know. Uh, I, I'm the lady from the boat. Saw you guys. That's right. Yes. <laughs> and this is Belinda. She works in the spa. Hi. And she's just incredible. I mean, I was in agony yesterday, and I woke up this morning, and I had no pain at all. Great. Oh, good. I'll make an appointment. Of course, yeah. If she's not booked with me. <laughs> You guys want to sit up here? Yeah, no, that's okay, thank you. That might be more convivial. We're on our honeymoon. Mm. Thank you, though. Thank <laughs> you. All right. My poor mother. She died in June. And she loved the ocean. Just loved it. My poor mother, she had a beautiful house in Carmel. And she tried very, very hard to be a really good mother. Even though she didn't have any maternal instincts or skills. 
she, uh, she was always in search of male affection. And, uh, she was a nymphomaniac. I'd walk in her room and I'd find all sorts of strange men in her bed. She had borderline personality disorder. She took her money and she manipulated people with it. And she was cruel. Yeah, she was very, very cruel. She was so, so cruel. And uh, I, I just, oh, mother, 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 mother. My mother told me I would never be a ballerina, and that was when I was skinny. My poor mother, she, she just couldn't handle her jealousy. She had to take me down. And what's weird is I miss my mother, even though she was a big jerk. I just... I need your help, everybody. I, I've been trying for many days now to open this box. My poor mother's in here. I need someone's help. Do you want me to open the box? Yeah, I would love that. I'll give it. Um, yeah. Oh, my God, thank you. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Mother. Goodbye, Mother. Goodbye, Mother. I just realized it's too early for me. It's okay. <laughs> right. oh, but my mother, mother, mother. Ah. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, oh, maybe, why don't we, yeah, back I'm back. my... Oh, my God. It's okay. Just... There you go. On the count of three. One, two, three. There you go. Well, you're a beautiful woman. Thank you, Tanya. It's good. Oh, hey! When I saw my mother's ashes hit the water, you know, I just, uh, it just reminded me of, of, you know, sprinkling fish food in an aquarium. And I was just like, oh my God, you know, am I feeding my mother to the fishes? Excuse me. I think this is my room. Oh, crap. <laughs> we were drinking on the boat. <laughs> yeah, you said that. Huh. Yeah, we go on a deep sea fishing trip every year. Just a good group of guys, a bunch of buds from the BLM. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I figured, well, why don't we just go grab dinner? You want to grab dinner tonight? Is that, is that crazy? It's just downstairs, you know, casual. Oh, well. I did have a plan. Oh. Well. But I could. I could just change it. Yeah, okay. Great. That, I mean, that's terrific. And I'll see you at 7 o'clock. Okay? Oh! Um, Greg, I should have started with that. Huh. I'm Tanya McQuad. Nice to meet you. I got asked out, believe it or not. There's a deep sea fisherman staying next door, and he's with a group from Black Lives Matter. I want to know, how did you get involved with the BLM? I just think that's so interesting. Well, um, I was in the Sheriff's Department, in Grand Junction, and then the BLM moved to the headquarters of Colorado, and uh, they have a law enforcement program, and just Seemed like a perfect fit. What was the thing that made you want to dedicate your whole life to activism? 
Was it one incident that was especially I, brutal? I, I don't understand. What do you mean, activism? Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not involved in that. You're not? No. No. Because you... Yeah, you said BLM. <laughs> yeah, that's the Bureau of Land Management. I, I have, like... 300 rangers across 10 states have report to me. Wow, I guess, I guess I got that really wrong. <laughs> Likes the first layer. Maybe, I don't know, you know, but what about the second layer and the third layer? And then every step along the way, you know, I have to worry about, you know, is he gonna like the next layer? You know, and then I get all afraid, like, you know, how much do I wanna show him? You know, is he gonna be repulsed or is he gonna be alarmed? And at the core of the onion, Belinda, is just a straight-up alcoholic lunatic. That, that's not true. No, it is. It is. And I just want to show my hand. I don't want to play poker anymore. I just want to skip all the layers and just go straight to the crazy and just, like, you know, let the chips fall where they may. And, you know, just show them. Just show them the core of the onion. Uh, Bob? Uh, let, let me call you back. Okay. I'm so sorry that I was eavesdropping. <laughs> well, I, I, um, um... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna go do a few laps. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna just go in and lay down on my bed. And just wait for you to text me. I, well, I was gonna text you. I'm, I'm just gonna go swimming first. We'll hang out later, for sure. I'll see you in a few hours. Okay? Insecure. This is mm -hmm. both my parents mentally abused me, and and I'm, I'm, my mother still tortures me, and she's dead, and I still have her ashes. I carry them around. So now you see. That's the core of the onion. I, it's already. <laughs> this is it. This is the core of the onion, and I don't want to. I want you to get out of there and save yourself because I'm just like a. I'm like a dead end, you know, that just has a trap door, and I think you should get out. I don't want you to take these things. Whoa. I want you to take them. I want you to get on it. No, I I'm not gonna take your dead mother's ashes. I want you to get them out of here. What the fuck am I supposed to do with them? I don't know. Put them in the drug of your car. Just get them out of here. You can put them in a trash can. You're fucking crazy. And so I am. And I, there's nothing I can do about it. Please, please get out. Please. <laughs> get out. Greg, I told you to get the fuck out. No. I still want to fuck you. <laughs> really? 
Yeah. Come here, crazy. Come on. 